Hey, we're having to catch up with Regina Nemney out here outside Paramount Studios. We're getting ready for the E-World Music Awards. Now, Regina, we caught you a moment away from the red carpet. Are you excited? I'm very excited. It's so nice. And, uh, all these very beautiful looking people and very talented. I'm glad to be here. Talk about talent. I just heard them bragging about you all over there. I mean, they were so excited. I mean, everybody was grabbing at you. They all wanted to talk to you, Regina. I mean, okay. Now, you're here in the United States, but you've been discovered by whom? When I was very young mm -hmm. by Federico Fellini. Which is a huge name. Yeah, that's a huge name. And his wife, Giulietta Mazzina, uh, saw me do a small scene. I was supposed to dance in one of Federico's films because I used to be a professional ballet dancer. I was in the ballet school at La Scala Opera House. And uh, so he wanted dancers for this particular film. And he said, Regina, come to Chile Chita and you just dance. And I said, so, you know, I said, okay, fine, I'll do it. So I went there and he ended up having me dance very little. And then he ended up having me act and gave me this scene where I was supposed to grab someone's hand, read their palm, and crack up laughing. Oh. And, uh, so he spoke into my ears and said, uh, when you read her palm, what you read is, and he came to my ear and he said, Oh! <laughs> so that's why you're cracking up. You know? so I did that scene, and Julieta Mazina saw me do that scene, and then she came to me and she went to my parents and she said, Regina should continue both careers. She should definitely get into acting as well because she was having a lot of fun doing this. So, and she seems like she can do it. So, mm, so it's that's started. a good start. So, acting or dancing? Do you have a preference? Well, um, uh, I need it both at different times of my life. In dance, I adore dancing, but mm -hmm. there's a you know a certain direction where you can use your voice and you can use the words. Uh. So that expresses a certain thing, and then with acting, you get into a different reality. Of mm -hmm. So I, I adore both. Of course, professional ballet dancing, just like acting, you have to do it every day consistently, which I'm not doing at the moment. Right. <laughs> Should we ask you how your toes are? <laughs> They're actually okay. I'm one of those uh, rare <laughs> exceptions. I know. Okay. Well, see, because part of it is just like... <laughs> yeah, they're okay. It's one of the things is always with the ballet dancers, right? Yes. It's like the toes are the ones That's that true. go. That's true. But as far as acting now, what projects are you working on now? Uh, now, I don't like to talk before it happened. I like to talk Ooh. in the past. Okay. I'm superstitious. I'm Italian that, That's okay. But uh, there are two projects in particular that I'm uh, interested in, and mm -hmm. that hopefully will take off and uh, very good roles. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> like mom's word. Okay, she'll tell us afterwards. What would be your ideal role that you would love to do? I would love to. Well, it, actually, it's one of these two. It's my ideal thing because it's uh, it combines uh, sexy with profound and psychologically complex but also uh, historically valuable and dramatically strong. <laughs> and who would you love to work with as an actor or actress? Uh, God, you know, well, Meryl Streep is, I can't think of anybody better than her. Yeah. Um, men, someone I was thinking about you know, people like Jeff Bridges is so cool, you know, he's just like the guy. And I adore the fact, that it's not a professional thing, that he's married to one woman in this industry. It's oh, so hard to have a decent relationship, you know, and the guy's just fantastic. I, I love that. It's like double, double chapeau, you know. Ah, now if I were either Jeff Bridges or Meryl Streep standing right across from you, yeah and you wanted to get my attention and tell me about how great you were and why you should be in a movie with me, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> I have to do this before I die. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see all the expression and that big, like, huge... Get out of here! <laughs> you get like a big, huge, contagious smile. You do? Yeah. Oh, Regina. Now, if people would love to find out more about you, 
and what you're up to on the internet, where's the best place to go? I do have a website, ReginaNemu.com. Okay. But I have to say, I, I talk in the past there too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Until it's happened, I, I really don't put it up on my website. Uh, but hopefully very soon, you know. Uh, I take it a step at a time because uh, this is a business where so many times there's a lot of talking and not a lot of action. And I am uh, an Italian professional business Jewish woman. <laughs> Ooh. So when it's done, <laughs> okay, in other words, watch out for Regina. There's going to be a lot watch of things out. happening. <laughs> but meanwhile, you're going to have to go to her website just to see what she's up to. Right, Regina? Yeah. Besides, you know, she's relatively new here to Hollywood. I am. You're going to take am. it by storm. Also, uh, some of the projects that I'm uh, preparing, um, in one of them, I'll well, two of them, one and a half I'm acting, another one I'm directing, mm -hmm. another one I'm co-writing. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of shift happening right now and uh, I just want to let things take their own shape here in LA. New place, new everything, new weather. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love this? Isn't this gorgeous? I love the weather. Well, we just know if you've been found by Federico Fellini, you're definitely one to watch. Thank you. Thank yes. you, Regina. Thank you so much.